<laughs> that's good <laughs> yeah I, I made a list of things to tell you like since I made an appointment with you I figured I'd just make a list because there's no way I could remember all this but... yeah for sure wow hey hey what happened I don't know nothing on my side really it was all me ooh weird I don't know I didn't do anything I was just waiting for you to come back on it's really strange like well when I was trying to figure out what was going on the like I have I didn't tell you but I hear demons like all the time okay and they talk like in open air like not even in my head really it's always out oh yeah in the atmosphere they said and they said sorry Dana like they knew they did that or something I don't know it's pretty messed up so okay I guess it was my on my end all right so okay now I wanted to, I was telling you at the time, I made this list of things that's been going on, so okay. you guys want me to read it off to you? Sure. Okay. Um, let's see. Like like I told you, I've been hearing voices. Like, I, I did DMT, like, probably a year ago. What's DMT? DMT is, it's called the spirit molecule, and what you do is you smoke it, or you could take it orally, and it's supposed to get you in touch with the spirits like you have like yeah you never heard of it they have like a documentary about it on netflix like it's a yeah do some research on it it's pretty crazy and uh yeah you you get what you ask for and let me tell you i saw it didn't it didn't wear off for like if you smoke it it only lasts for like a little while but i took it orally and unfortunately my trip lasted for like two days how long and, would you do this um, a year ago. Okay. I mean, actually, it was more than a year ago. It's probably last, not this last spring, but the spring before. So, but ever since I did that, I've been seeing things and hearing things. Like it's like the trip hasn't ended for me. And mm -hmm. you know, I thought. I mean, it's it's not as bad as when I was on the drug per se, but like the like there's some lingering effects from it. And I know it's demonic, and um, they haven't left. Like I see, I see them all the time. I um, hear them talking all the time, like, um, and okay. I told you, like, when I was watching, I was watching Taya's Deliverance, and yeah. um, I guess she had, like, some death curses on her family, and I was, I was saying the prayers along with that video, Good. and uh, as I was doing that, there was something on me, like, I didn't know it was on me, but at the moment, I guess God let me see in the spirit that there was like a demon on me. And as I was saying that prayer, and I, I, apparently I pissed this thing off and it looked right at me when I said it and it screamed and it flew away. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, like the, the voices haven't been as loud. I haven't been as tortured as much. I haven't had the sick feeling in my stomach. Like yeah. I, it was pretty crazy just from that, just renouncing it. Yeah. And yeah, it, it went away. I, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with, um, abortions because I've had a few a few in my past and uh, um, I don't know if it was generational in my family I don't know anything about what my family's past is not really well so um, so that happened um, let's see I used to do cocaine uh, I, I used to take a lot of pharmaceuticals all the time mm -hmm. I was a heavy drinker and a smoker and the gods, deli gods delivered me of drinking, smoking, and all the drugs. Like um, in February on my birthday, I, that's when I got my first deliverance, and he just took that right away from me, right away. Okay, so you have no cravings or nothing anymore. No, awesome. no, no it, it is great. I mean, I look at some of my brothers and sisters um, that you know are still fighting it, and I've, I've been taken for granted that I just, I, I, it's been totally, completely removed from me, and it, God's that way. Yeah, praise God. Okay, good, that's yeah, good. I know, I know. So that's been taken away. When they were praying for me one day, the, uh, this brother said that he keeps getting up, getting that I've been molested in my life, and some, you know, and they, and it's funny because I do exhibit signs like someone that's been molested, but I don't remember anything like that if I have. Okay. But um, 
I think it might be generational or something that's happened to somebody in my past. I'm not sure, but I'm just putting it out there. Probably a couple months ago, this really bothered me. I was having a dream, like I was having sex in my dream. I know that's wrong. I'm not supposed to be doing that. And I woke myself up. And right as I woke myself up, I got out of bed, I looked in the mirror, and my face wasn't my face. It was like something was trying to pop out on my skin. Like I had, it was my skin, but it was like a different face structure than my normal face. It was so creepy and weird. I wanted to take a picture, but I just, I, then I, I decided not to because it was just so ugly. Okay. So your so face was literally manifesting. It yes. wasn't just something that you saw. It was like. It was, yeah, there was something under my skin that had a different shape than my normal face structure. Okay. It was really disturbing. I, okay. And I think that that might happen more than I realize. Let's see. I've had two suicide attempts in the past five years. The last suicide attempt, which was um, two years ago, um, I had taken a bunch of drugs and they found me in a hotel room. I was really trying to die. And my brother said that when I was in the hospital, I was speaking in demonic tongues. Like, I, yeah, is that normal? Okay. Um, and I, there was an incident where I astral traveled in the hospital. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like my family was talking about me, like um, all the way down in the lobby, and I was like floors up and I heard everything they said. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty crazy. Um, they're, um, they're trying to get me to take drugs in my dreams. Drugs? Yeah, like cocaine. I don't know if that's okay. a demon. Um, eating and drinking, they keep trying to do that. And in then, uh, yeah, and they want me to masturbate in my dreams too. Yeah. It might be witches after you. I, I think there is. There's um, people that um, that I know of that astral travel. Yeah. And that's that's the, the house that I was at when I took the DMT, the spirit molecule, the drug. And uh, I think they were messing with me that night, too. They let me, like, they paid me, like, $500 to watch their house. And they're like, just do anything you want. And I think they just totally, completely messed with me. Mm -hmm. and, it's probably like the worst week of my life. And um, I've, I've been isolating a lot, and I talk to myself a lot. And I think I, my dad does that too. It might just, I, I come by it honestly, but I do talk to myself a lot. Okay. Okay, and that's your list? That's my list so okay. far. You know, I probably think of a lot of <laughs> more things, but you know, that's okay. the quick and the dirty. So how long have you been a Christian then? Well, uh, I came to last. The, it was a year ago this time. I I was I was so tormented. I, I I figured my house was haunted or something, and so I ran away from it and I started sleeping in hotels. And everywhere I'd go, these ghosts managed to find me. Right, so I I tried everything. I, I tried going to gurus. You know, like um, there was this. Guy I met, and he was, I don't know if you've heard, have you ever heard of Qigong? Yeah. It's like a form of martial arts, and okay. he like does all this astral travel too, mm -hmm. and he is knows about spirits and everything, and he said, oh, I can pray for you and get and take these these spirits off of you, but I think you need to experience them and, and go through whatever you need to go through to, to learn, otherwise you won't learn anything, you know? Just, and I was seeking everywhere but God, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, I came to God. I was like in one of those many hotels I was staying in, and um, I was just looking online. It seems I could look at, it and I found this prayer, and I, and I can't find it anymore. I don't know where it, where it is, but I said a prayer. And I asked for God to help me. Yeah. That's when um, that's when uh, I found like some deliverance video online. Yeah. And I listened to it like all night long, and and I was drunk, of course, so I slept through most of it. But when I woke up that next morning, I vomited so much. Mm. Uh, and I don't usually vomit when I when I yeah. didn't I never usually vomit it when I drink. I think it was something from listening to all that deliverance all night long. Yeah. But that's when I realized God 
God is there and he yeah. is there to help me. And that's the only thing that's going to work. Mm-hmm. So, um, I've had deliverance. I, I just, I feel like I need more. I, yeah. I, I'm so tired of hearing these voices and seeing them walk around my house. Mm-hmm. You know, I've cleaned, I've cleaned my house out of all the, um, idols and stuff yeah. that we had. I mean, I had angel figurines and yeah. I had fleur de lis all over my house, just yeah. all over the place. And anything that would be offensive to God, I got rid of. Good. And it helped a lot. It yeah. helped a lot. But um, I'm, so, I'm so tired of hearing them. Mm-hmm. For sure. And when I wake up, I can feel it in the air. I know exactly what it feels like every time they come in there. You know, um, they, they just do stuff a lot to me when I'm sleeping. It's always in my dreams. I feel like sometimes in the morning when I wake up, I'm still tired from everything yeah. I've been put through in my dreams. Yeah. Uh, and hearing the voices and, oh, a lot of times I'll like look at the floor or I'll look at the wall and there'll be like lights, um, like colored lights and they like make designs and then they'll if I look a little harder, they start to turn into faces. It's, mm-hmm. I mean, it's just like I'm on a drug or something, yeah. but I haven't taken drugs in a long time. Yeah. And they make faces. I look, I, I can stare at anything, and they'll start to make faces on anything. It's weird. And I wonder, is it are they on the wall, or is it something that's in my eyes? Are they in my eyes? I have no mm-hmm. idea. When I close my eyes, I see them. When, um, when I'm... Uh, listening to your videos they get pissed off and so when i close my eyes i can really see them clearly yeah. they're uh, they're ugly yeah <laughs> yeah and they they don't like you they don't like the videos mm-hmm. and i'm glad mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. okay yeah yes. it's, they, they constantly want to tell me there's another there's one that constantly wants to tell me how satan feels about things they're like well satan doesn't want you to this and Satan loves you Satan is and I, I don't know that's a new one for me it's been around for like the last two months I don't know why it thinks I care about what Satan thinks yeah really. so a lot of the time you're hearing them externally oh all the time mm-hmm. like yeah like uh, um the only time I've ever heard the voices in my head is like when I'm going to sleep it's like right before I'm about to fall asleep and it's it's weird it's like they're using my head as like a mic check kind of thing they make weird noises and don't say any kind of words they're just like Bruh! you mm-hmm. know these just do stupid stuff I mean okay. I don't know what the purpose of that is but mm-hmm. just for me to let for them to let me know they're there I guess yeah. but I know it's not my mind doing that but um, on my website, I've got some just a few downloads on the downloads page. There, there's one okay. uh, one called Destroying Witchcraft. You should download it. It's called the what? Of it's called witchcraft? Destroying Witchcraft. There's a whole bunch of prayers on there for, okay. to destroy witchcraft. Uh huh. Um, you should download it and have that. To my regiment. Anytime you're feeling some kind of external kind of attack, you can go through that. Um, yeah. Because it may not all be demonic that's outside of you. It might be some astral stuff going on. I think I think it is. And I've oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about what I've seen. Like I've seen people in my room. Like yeah. and I I don't know that it's people. I mean I I was like, is that demons looking like people or is it people spirit people? I don't mm-hmm. know. But I've seen them in my room mm-hmm. and I've yelled at them. And the one that I I were, it was a fat guy and I yelled at him and he wouldn't leave. And I was just like, well, if he's a demon, he should leave, right? Yep. So, yeah. yeah, he wouldn't leave, and um, he eventually did. But I've seen, I've seen, I've seen all kinds of things in the spirit in in my room. Now. I've seen things that have to be a demon. They, there's just no way that yeah. could be a person. Yeah, well, they're both <laughs> going on, but yeah. yeah. Okay. I've seen the people too in my room, and they 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 too come at me during the night. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. All right. Okay, so I think what we're going to start with All right, let's get started. All right, Holy Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my sister Dana. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, that she wants to be free and that she's seeking after you and she's seeking after her freedom. No rest, angels. Pull, 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 pull these things up and out. Pull these demons up and out right now. 
pull these demons up and out right now. They gotta go in the name of Jesus Christ. Hotter, 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 hotter. Loose her and let her go. Loose her and let her go right now, up and out. Fire head to toe. Fire head to toe. Let's go. Come out of her mind, out of her brain. Let's go out of her heart. Unwrap, 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 unwrap. Off her back, off her spine. Go all the way down her spine right now to her tailbone right now. Yoga spirits, python spirits out in the name of Jesus Christ. Kundalini, go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ, you demon. Go, 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 go. Anything that came in through the meditation right now, I command you out. Any gateway that was open through those meditations, I seal it with the blood of Jesus and lock it tight with the keys to death and hell. Out every spirit that came in through meditation, go. Go in Jesus' name. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out every spirit that came in through meditation, get out of her now. Go, 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 go. Every false Holy Spirit, every false Jesus demon, out in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire head to toe, come out of there, come out of there, new age demons, go, 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 eastern demons, come out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her heart, go, go, all your poisons out, spit your legions out, you demons, spit your legions out, you demons, go in the name of Jesus Christ. In the Fire in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Every witchcraft spirit out. Witchcraft come out of there. Sorcery come out of there in the name of Jesus Christ. Divination right now. I burn you right to your roots. You demons come out. Come out of her now. Fire head to toe right now. Let's go. Let's go right now. Let's go right now. Every human spirit of witchcraft right now. Every fragment of a witch come out of her now. Every fragment of a warlock come out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Hotter, 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 hotter. I sever the soul ties now. Angels travel. Trace the soul ties back to the witches in Jesus' name. Destroy their powers. Destroy their sacrifices in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in Jesus' mighty name. Destroy them all right now. And sever the ley lines. Cut the cords between the witchcraft and, the, and my sister now. Fire your head to toe. Come out of her, witches. Let's go. Every witch spirit, every witchcraft spirit, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire, 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 fire. Hotter, 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 hotter. Up and out. Up and out right now. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Ki of Amanda. Sotora of Akaya of Amanda. Miande. Out of her eyes, out of her ears. Go, go out of her brain right now. A seal shut the third eye with the blood of Jesus Christ right now. A seal shut that third eye right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lock it tight right now. Lord, lock that gateway with the, with the keys to death and hell only you have. Jesus' name right now. Lock those gateways in the name of Jesus Christ. Out, out. Out, you demons come out of her mouth, out of her brain. Let's go. Off her neck. Unwrap, 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 unwrap. Off her neck. Come out of there. Out of the base of her skull. Go. I cut your hooks out of her brain. I cut your hooks out of her skull right now. Mind control spirits right now. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Molech, you gotta go. In the name of Jesus Christ, Molech, you gotta go. Up and out. Up and out, I burn you demons brutally in the name of Jesus Christ. Hotter, 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 Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I break your curses right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, I ask you to bring up whatever it is you want to deal with, Lord, in Jesus' name. Angels, bind up everything else. Make them all deaf, dumb, blind, and mute. I only want the demon that the Lord wants up first. I only want whatever the Lord wants up first in Jesus' name. Get up here and face me. Get up here and face me now. Speak out of her mouth. Hurry up. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name, demon? Answer me. Right now, I command you through Christ. What's your name? Hurry up. Speak. Angels torment these things. No rest until they speak right now. Fire all over them right now. Thousands of swords in their heads right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, run your swords in them. Run your swords in them in the name of Jesus Christ. Pull this demon up. Pull the, pull the spirit up in the name of Jesus Christ. Get up here and face me right now. Fire all over that room, all over her clothes right now, you demon, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hotter, 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 hotter. More fire right now, angels. More torment in the name of Jesus Christ. No rest. No rest. More angels, more power, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hotter, 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 hotter. Strip and bind all the shields right now. Bind every spirit right now. Bind them of all their shields, all their weapons, all their armor, all their robes of authority in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Hotter, hotter, hotter. Every spirit of confusion, I bind you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind all doubt and unbelief in the name of Jesus Christ, you demons, right now. Hotter in the name of Jesus Christ, I burn you brutally right now. What's your name, demon? I see you there. What's your name? What's your name? Answer me. What's your name? What's your name? 
What's your name? Yeah, go ahead and laugh. What's your name? Mm -hmm. What's your name? I command you through Christ. Answer me now. Get up here all the way. And just pull this thing up. <coughs> pull this thing all the way up. Pull this thing up in Jesus' name. Get up here and face me, demon. What's your name? What's your name right now? I burn your legions out. Burn your legions out. Angels, burn the legions out now in the name of Jesus Christ. No rest. Hotter, 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 hotter. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ right now. All of you, Jezebel. All over you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I burn your legions out. You in the name. I knew you're in there. All your witchcraft, I burn. All your religious spirits, I burn you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of lust, I burn your kingdom now. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire head to toe. Fire head to toe right now. Angels of the Lord, send the dogs of Jezreel in there. Rip Jezebel's breasts off. Rip her ovaries out. Rip her private parts out. Destroy that thing in the name of Jesus Christ so she'll never have sex again ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire all over you demons in the name of Jesus Christ. I burn you right to your core, you demon, right now. Fire head to toe right now. Get up here and face me right now. Get up here and face me. Lord, I ask you to bring up whatever it is that you want to deal with first in Jesus' name. You know how these things are set, there, set up their kingdom in there. You know how to tear them down. So I ask you, Holy Spirit, to bring up whatever it is you want to, want to deal with first in Jesus' name. Get up here. Get up here and face me now. Get up here and face me. Speak. Hurry up. Speak in her mind or, or out of her mouth, one or the other. Hurry up. What's your name? I line you up to the spirit of truth, the belt of truth around your neck. Now, what's your name? What's your name? Baxter. Baxter? <laughs> Does that line up as truth before Jehovah God? Yes, it does. All right. Are you a human spirit or a demon? Belt of truth around your neck. Human it, does not, it does not line up as truth. What is your name? Answer me. I can barely hear that. Speak up, spirit, right now. I lose your abilities to feel, hear, and speak. You will speak clearly and boldly in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will feel every bit of torment I put on you. Now answer me. What's your name? What's your name, Spirit? Answer me. Angels, pull them up. Pull them up. Pull them up. Pull them up in fire. Pull them up in torment. I just saw a spirit that looks like a monkey, but I don't know. If that's... Jesus, rip his tails off in the name of Jesus Christ. Rip that monkey's tail off right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, chop his hands off, his feet off right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Scorch that thing right now. Burn the <laughs> out, monkey spirit. Go. Go from her, monkey spirit, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hotter, 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 hotter. I burn all your trees down. I burn all your vines down in there in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Right now. Fire all over you, you demon, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now get up here and face me. What's your name? What's your name? What is your name? Answer me now. I command you as an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit within the sound of my voice, you will bow your knee to the Lord Jesus Christ. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess Jesus Christ is Lord. He has given me authority over you demons. He's given me authority to use his name as an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now I command you, you speak right now. What is your name? What is your name, spirit? Angels, pull them up all the way up. Shine the light of Jesus all through my sister right now. Shine the light of Jesus all through her right now, head to toe in the name of Jesus Christ. Every dark corner, every hidden shelf right now, right down to the root cellar in there in the name of Jesus Christ, right down to the basement in there in that house in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Expose every dark corner right now, every hidden corner in there in the name of Jesus Christ, every cave, every tunnel right now. Fi fill them with the blood of Jesus and fire and the light of Jesus Christ right now. Burn these demons out right down to the roots of every hiding place. Burn them out of there. Burn them out of there. Pull them up and out. 
Pull them up and out of those caves and tunnels right now. Fire! It's so good up here and face me right now, you demon, in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, angels, pull, 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 pull that thing up. Pull that spirit up. Whatever it is the Lord wants to deal with first in Jesus' mighty name, get up here and face me right now. Get up here right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, if there are any altered personalities in there, I ask you to send your angels to to uh, to release them from any from any boxes or any coffins or any any um, cages or any shackles and chains in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of bondage I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. I break all your shackles and chains right now, Jesus mighty name. All your irons and fetters, I break them off of her legs, off her hands, off her neck right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Off any of the altars now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, protect them and surround them and cover them and protect them. Holy Spirit, make them, let them feel safe in Jesus' name right now. What's your name? Come on up. I just saw a little girl with brown hair. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Come on up and talk to me. Come on up and talk to me. It's all right. Angels protect her. Keep her safe. Come on up and talk to me. It's okay. You're gonna feel some emotion and stuff. It's all right. I am. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Come on up. Come on up, sweetie. It's all right. Can you tell me your name? It's okay. It's okay. Come on up and talk to me. I'm here to help you. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me your name? Holy Spirit, just move on every altar in there and let them know that they're safe. Thank you, Jesus. It's okay. Come on up. Come on up. If, if these demons have got these altars so that they can't see or speak or hear, and Lord, give them eyes to see, ears to hear, and mouth to speak. Replace their tongue, fix their tongue so they can speak. Is there somebody there? Yeah, someone just came in. Okay. Someone's at the door. Okay. Do you live with somebody? Yeah. Uh, no, no. It's my. I have a roommate. She okay. might be having someone over. Let me get my headphones real quick. Okay. It's pretty good timing. It was a pizza guy. It was my roommate ordered pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Ooh, that was like. Uh very sad yeah yeah how do you feel about that i feel really sad i kept i kept thinking of crystal like that was as a name yeah okay but and it's really weird because i used to when i was a little girl and mm -hmm. throughout my childhood i used to make this little baby voice and yeah. I, I called it crystal yeah okay and that's this is her it's it's a it's an altar okay Oh, okay. Okay, and you're feeling her emotion when she yeah. come up. Because okay. she's manifesting, and you're feeling, you know, yeah. however old she was, whatever happened to her. She looks really little. Yeah. yeah, whatever happened to her, she's been living that torment inside you for all these years. You know, I was burnt as a child. Burnt? Um, like, I... Uh, my mom had some really hot 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 tea she just had out of a teapot and she left it out and yeah. i was two yeah. and it got spilled all over my arm oh, and yeah. you know um i had a cast for a yeah. long time because of it and i don't know that that just came to my mind okay yeah that, that's a trauma right yeah yeah i Definitely mean they can create an altar i know and i know people have said i've that they think i've been molested and mm -hmm. i don't know if that might have something to do with it but, um, like I said, I don't remember anything like that. Right. And yeah. that's what happens, like, if there is a traumatic event such as a molestation or a sexual, you know, trauma. Yeah. Um, or abuse. Any kind of abuse or any kind of trauma, like an accident, like you say, can create them. Yeah. And it doesn't even have to be a real big trauma. It all depends on the person. You know? Yeah. And how, hard, years, how hard they take it. Yeah, and at two years old, it's pretty easy. Any anything can traumatize anything. a two-year-old, right? Right. You know. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, rejection 
can traumatize, you know, a father, yeah. a father even, you know, a divorce yeah. definitely, or even a relationship in school, you know, when you break up with somebody it can be traumatic for people, you know, stuff like that. I think I have a spirit of rejection. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it came, if it's, if it's something that happened to me in the womb, like right. I know I was a surprise to my parents when I, they got pregnant with me. Yeah. And th you know what? Now that you mentioned all this witchcraft stuff, I was conceived in New Orleans, like in a hotel room, mm -hmm. and they used to always joke around that the reason I was so evil is because I was conceived on an altar in New Orleans. Like, oh. I know, isn't that weird? Okay. Like, now that I just, it, it, it was a running joke in the family. That explains why I'm so bad, you know? Mm. Yeah. They didn't say uh, what altar. No, they just said, like, what if it was an altar? Like, the hotel room was, you know, since it's a witchcraft city, what if it was an altar? That, oh. it was that, that bed was made over. You know, it wasn't like I was. Oh, that's they did a, it on, that's a Yeah, bad, yeah, they didn't okay, do it on you. purpose. You know, just saying, what if, oh, you know. Yeah, okay, I got you. The way the Lord's kind of showed me how to handle deliverances when there's altars is, well, it's not always exactly the same, but, you know, the altars need to be dealt with first. Yeah. So that okay. your your core self can be restored. Right. Then you then you're stronger to go after the demons because the demons use these altars to attack you. Really? How do they do that? Well, they've got this two year old two year old little girl in there that yes. they've tormented and tormented and tormented and then they gotta just trigger it to come up and you feel all of that torment. The sometimes like in my life when I've been upset, I all of a sudden become really childish and get yep. upset. Is that a thing? Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's the altar manifesting. Okay. Okay. I see. And you know, it is a part of you. It's a, it's actual fragment of your, your soul really is split off. It's got its own, yeah. it's got its own free will. Yeah. You know, and it's got all the demons from whatever the trauma was in it. It needs to be delivered and restored back back to your core self. How come I can't get any of these things to talk out of me? Because every deliverance I've had, they never want to yeah. talk. Well, I mean, it's different with everybody. I don't know. Yeah. I just kind yeah. of, I kind of look at it like, you know, if for some people for a demon to come and manifest and speak out of their mouth and take over the body is pretty traumatic. Right? Yeah. It's, I think it's better if that happens for to get the demon out, but yeah, but you know, the Lord doesn't always do it that way. No. Mm. Okay. You know, I think he does it the, the way that needs to be done. Uh, <laughs> okay. Right. Say no more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just, that's my answer. Anyway. <laughs> All right, all right. That's completely true or whatever. But. Hey, the Lord does what the Lord does. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to send send your holy angels in there right now to, to bind up every demon in this altar, crystal. This little this little girl that she saw that, uh, I keep forgetting her name. Dana. Dana, yeah. Dana saw in there in the name of Jesus Christ, angels of the Lord, bind up every demon that's attached to her and sever them right out of their own kingdoms in the name of Jesus Christ. Pull them right out from their kingdoms. Rip them right out of the sides of those, de of those demonic kingdoms in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Jesus mighty name and bind them and cage them all in the name of Jesus Christ and protect that young girl. Come on up. Come on up, Crystal. Is that your name, Crystal? Is that your name? It's okay. Can you talk? <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm here to help you, okay? I, I know. I'm here to help you. Now, if you can listen to me, I can really help you, all right? But I need your direction. I need you to talk to me. Okay, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. Is your name Crystal? No. Come on up. Come on up. If you talk to me, I can help you. I need you to talk to me. I need you to tell me what's going on so that I can help you. 
Okay. Is there somebody trying to hurt you in there? Come on up, sweetie. Holy Spirit, bring her back up, please. Bring her back up. Come on up. It's okay. There you are. Come on up and talk to me. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. I know you're sad. Okay? I know you've been sad for a long time, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Can you talk to me? Is there something wrong with your mouth? No. Well, there you go. Okay. Is somebody trying to stop you from talking to me? No. Huh? No. No? Are you a... Is there a spirit of fear there? Angels, bind up all fear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bind up every spirit of fear, anything that's, that's uh, scaring her and keeping her from talking. Are you okay now? You okay now? Okay. Okay. Look, I promise you I'm here to help you. I'm not here to hurt you in any way, okay? The Lord sent me here, all right? Okay? He sent me to help you, to get you out of here so that you don't have to be in this bad place anymore. Okay? Will you talk to me? Can you tell me what happened to you? I'm hot. You're hot? Yeah. Did you get burned? Yeah. Yeah. By that cup of tea? Yeah, yeah. That really hurt, huh? Okay. Well, watch this, all right? Watch. I'm telling you I'm here to help you, okay? Is that burn still on you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, just watch. Don't be sad. Listen to me. Watch this. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to come. Come to this young sister and, and heal that wound, please, in Jesus' name. Bring your healing and wholeness. Create a whole new skin for her in the name of Jesus Christ. All down her arm, and all down her side, wherever that wherever that tea burnt her in Jesus' name. Is it better now? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Okay, do you know Jesus? No? Okay, I know. Can you tell me how old you are? Are you like two? I wanted a half. Okay. Thank you for telling me. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there's pain in there, right? You're feeling lots of pain and af and f afraid. I'm so sad. And sad, yeah. Why are you sad? Because my daddy won't save me. Because your daddy won't save you? Yeah. Okay. okay. Because you couldn't stop it? Is that why? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well you know what? Do you know you know who Jesus is? It's okay, yeah. you don't have to be sad. You're safe now, okay? Uh -huh. Jesus is He is the Son of the Most High God. He created you. Okay? And He can fix everything that ever happened to you. Okay? okay. He can. Okay? Okay. Okay. I want you to go with him now, okay? He's going to come and take you, he's going to fix everything, and he's going to restore all that stuff. And all the sadness is going to go away, and all the pain, and all the fear, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Lord Jesus, I ask you to come and deliver. Deliver Crystal, please, in Jesus' name. Angels of the Lord, escort her to the Lord so she goes directly to him and nobody else. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, lead them. Thank you, Lord. Come and deliver her. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> that 
was weird. What happened? I just saw a little girl walk away holding a hand. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, it was so much emotion, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. <sighs> okay, so now, okay. now that little girl won't be triggered anymore. You know, okay, I yeah. I bet you if you're around like hot coffee and tea and stuff, yeah. you'll probably start to feel a little anxi anxiety. I hate I hate hot coffee and hot tea. I won't, I won't ever drink it. That's why. I, re I refuse. <laughs> That's why. Isn't that funny? <laughs> now you know why, okay? Yeah, that's funny. I never... But I want you to understand something. That little girl, she's been in that torment all this time. That's so sad. It is. And she was so <laughs> sad. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And you know, and how it works is I think you've watched my videos, but the demons set that stuff up. For they me to get hurt, you mean? Yes. Hey, wow. They set okay. that stuff up so that they can fragment you and get control of you. That was must have been my first one that I know yeah. of. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Whoa. Wow. She was so sad. Mm -hmm. Just, I can't believe that's where that came from. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this Baxter name, I don't know, that might be another one. <laughs> Baxter. Yeah. It's a funny name. Yeah. I've never had any dealings with a Baxter. Right. Have you, when you were growing up, were you kind of tomboyish? Yeah, I mean, I didn't like to wear dresses. I hated them. I hated to take baths. I, yeah, I guess you could say. I, they made me wear dresses. I had to wear them in school, and I yeah. resented that. And I didn't like to bathe at all. Yeah. I would do everything I could to not have yeah. to take a bath. Yeah. yeah. So if there's yeah. any kind of boyish stuff, there can be some altars that are more boyish. I've, I've always felt kind of boyish my yeah. whole life. Yeah. And I just wonder what that was about. I mean... And I, so I, I tried to be even more girly because I didn't want to be that mm -hmm. boy thing, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, the, the with, with a female, if there's a boy alter, it's yeah, like, it, it's because you want to act tough, you know. You want and anybody try to control you or, you know, yes. abuse you or whatever, then you can be tough. Yeah, I could but, see that. Yeah. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to find out if this Baxter is an altar, okay? Okay. All right, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, if this Baxter was a demon, bind him and cage him in the name of Jesus Christ. If he's an altar, I want to talk to him. So bring him up, please, in Jesus' name. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. It's all right. Come on up and talk to me. Are you there? Come on up. I'm here. All right, okay. Talk. To, that's okay, I need to talk to you. How old are you? Eight. You're eight, okay. And your name's Baxter, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Did you see just what happened to Crystal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now you know who I am, all right? Okay, I'm here. I'm sent by the Lord to help you. Okay? Yeah. All right. I bet you, you were probably thinking that you were protecting uh, Dana, didn't you? Yeah. She needed me. Yeah. Okay. But I want you to understand. Do you see demons in there? <sighs> Have you seen them? It's okay. Always. 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 All right. Okay, thanks for telling me. I need your help here, okay? Right? Because you can see things that I can't. All right. Now, 
what happened to Dana when she was eight years old that made you fragment in there? It's okay. Oh, the battery's getting low. Okay. <sighs> Like the voice, his voice is, or I can't hear his voice. It's like I'm just getting suggestions of what to say. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. All right, well, he, he didn't want to tell me what, he doesn't want to say what's in there. Mm -hmm. this, he's scared of them. Oh, I can understand that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. What? Um, well, there used to be um, things happening in the house, like supernatural things in the yeah. house. Like, I woke, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was holding a hand and it wasn't my hand. Yeah. And there wasn't anyone near me and it was hot scared the crap out of me okay. and uh, uh, there used to be like um, some sort of beast in there it's always snorting and uh, I could hear it all the time and no one would ever believe me and uh, there was something in the closet yeah and it shook my closet like not the house just the closet shook yeah and no one believed that either. Yeah. Okay. That would be that would be traumatizing. Yeah, it was. Okay. All right, angel of the Lord, I ask you to surround Baxter right now in the name of Jesus Christ with your shields raised and your swords raised, and sever all the demons that are attached to him from their kingdoms and bind them and cage them now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone, in Jesus' mighty name, Holy Spirit, move in there. And comfort him and let him know he's safe in Jesus name and before before I uh, talk to Baxter Lord I want to know if crystal went with you or went with this other thing that was holding her hand if, it, if she went with a bad spirit I ask you to bring her back right now in the name of Jesus Christ bring her back right now in the name of Jesus you still there sweetie are you still there crystal Are you still there? She's not coming up if she is. Okay. I don't feel that horrible sadness. Okay. Okay, that's good. I just wanted to test that because yeah. lots of the times these demons will literally manifest as a false Jesus or whatever to take I've, an altar. I remember seeing your video about that. Yeah, yeah okay. All right. Okay, let's bring it up here. Baxter, come on up now. Come on up and talk to me, Baxter, okay? Come on up now. You there? Speak clearly, okay? I can help you if you but I need you to talk to me. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Are there any more of you altars in there, Baxter? I need your help. I need you that I need some information, okay? So I can help them all. Are there any more there? There must be three or four left. Okay. That's what he, it was said to me. Yeah, okay. So three or four. Are there any older ones than you? Oh, yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. Okay, thank you for that information, okay? Are there younger ones than you? I don't think so. You're like the youngest now? Yes, I am. Okay. It's getting louder. 
Okay. Thanks, thanks for the information, Baxter, okay? Now, what happened to you? Why were you so scared? What happened to you when you were eight? There were a bunch of demons on me. Yeah, they attacked you in the, at night, huh? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. I understand, okay? All of those demons that attacked you, the Lord's going to deliver you from them now. He's going to send them right to the pit. He's going to send them right to hell, okay? And you're going to get free from them now, okay? All right. Do you know Jesus? Do you know who he is? Yes, I do. Okay, good. good. He's the son of the Most High God, right? Okay. He's going to come and deliver you. First of all, I want you to... This is going to be a little bit scary, and maybe you've already seen them, but I'm going to give you eyes. I'm going to ask the Lord to give you eyes to see the demons and to see him. So you don't go to the wrong one, okay? Okay? It's going to be a little bit scary, but that's okay. For, he's going to, You're safe. All right? The angels are with you, and the Holy Spirit's there, okay? Okay? Okay. All right. Lord Jesus, I ask you to give him eyes to see. Give him a spirit of discernment so that he can know what's right and what's wrong. And I ask you to come and deliver him now in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Can you see him, Baxter? Just go to the Lord. I can't not not see them. He's so bright? Is that what you mean? What do you mean? I... I can't not not see them. Okay. Lord Jesus, I ask you to help him see you. If there's anything blocking his eyesight, lift the veils off his eyes, any blindfolds off his eyes right now in Jesus' name. Let the light of Jesus shine in there so he can see the path right to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Give him eyes to see the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Let him see that path, Lord, in Jesus' name. Okay, Baxter? Okay. Can you see him now? Yes, I can see him. Can you get to him? They're in the way. Who's, who is in the way? Can you tell me? Angels of the Lord, surround Baxter right now. Place a hedge of angels around him with shields raised and escort him to the Lord. In Jesus' name, walk right through those demons and push them out of the way. Bind them all up in Jesus' mighty name and cage them all. That's it. Come out of them. Come out of them. Okay, Baxter, go to the Lord. <laughs> I think he's going. Yeah, he's good. Alright. Can you see him? Yeah, he was on the same path, like kind of floor or whatever that, that Crystal was walking on. Yeah. Except for he was on the other side, holding, Jesus was holding this hand. And oh, yeah. It was, the, it was the other way around. Okay. For Crystal. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Well, I forgot about all that stuff. <laughs> wow. Isn't yeah, I've been. Yeah, I mean, I forgot, you know, just, I never thought about it anymore because my parents just never believed me, so I just try not to dwell on it. Right. Yeah, yeah now you know. 
Yeah. You know? If you ever have any children. You oh, yeah. I will believe them and I will be yeah. binding and rebuking. And, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. I think my kids, I think my kids could see spirits when they were little, like smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, uh, I just, you know, you can see what someone looks like when they're seeing something that's not there. That's what I would see them do all the time, and they would cry. And yeah. It was always when they were sick, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Yeah. Okay. It's a weird thing. So that's, that's good. That's uh, two set free. <laughs> Baxter. It's <laughs> <laughs> a cute name. <laughs> okay. How did they come up with that? <laughs> I don't know. What, that sounds like a name of a cat. Mm -hmm. Baxter. Okay. Okay. If he was the youngest, so I don't. Doesn't look like there's any molestation. Not at a young age, anyway. Yeah, I don't. I honestly don't. I mean, I don't think there was. Yeah. I, I honestly think that, I mean, I don't know if, like, was, if my mom, my mom's dad asked her when she was a teenager to, to give him a blowjob. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing I know of that happened with my mother, but, like, say if she was molested in some way as a child, would it, could it possibly affect me? Because that was a generation yeah. thing? Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, it can come through. I wondered that. It's possible. It's, yeah. It may have been there from before. Do what? The, that molestation spirit may have been there from before. Yeah. That's the only thing I think is I really don't feel like I just, yeah. I feel like I would remember it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. If it was in the father and mm -hmm. before in the bloodline on the father's side, then he would want to transfer it through by, by molesting a daughter. Yeah. Right. And then it keeps going. Right. right? If it never happened to you, then that's good. But, Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. But the spirit can still be there, and it may try to rear its ugly head every now and then. Right. But anyway, let's uh, keep going. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, I, I would like you to bring up the oldest altar, if that's your will, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. But if not, I ask you to bring up any other altar that you want. In Jesus' name. Come on up. Angels of the Lord, surround them and protect them in Jesus' name. Make sure that they're safe and covered. Bind up any demons around them in the name of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Comfort them. Move in there and let them know they're safe. Come on up and talk to me. Come on up. There you are. Come on up. Hi there. Hi. Hi. How old are you? Sixteen. Uh, okay. What's your name? Chelsea. Chelsea. Okay. All right. Hi, Chelsea. Can you can you tell me what happened to you? Anything bad happened to you, Chelsea? I did drugs. Okay. Why did you do drugs? I was just so curious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Was there something that you were trying to get away from? Or were you just curious? I just didn't want to listen to my parents anymore. Mm -hmm. And they just kept grounding me. Oh, yeah. They just wouldn't stop. They controlled you a lot, huh? All, all the time. Yeah, okay. Did they spank you a lot? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Just they... over, overprotected. So, so when you did drugs, it, was it a scary thing the first time? No. Okay. No. Just a way to get away from your parents, huh? Yeah. Okay. I understand. Okay. <laughs> and 
know, did you come up and and protect um, Dana from your parents? Is that why? Is that was? Is that one of the your jobs in there? Uh, she, just, she doesn't like to be hurt. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like to be controlled. So if somebody tries to control her, is that what you would do? You would come up and want her to go and do drugs? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Okay, yeah. you know what, Chelsea? You know what? She has Jesus now, okay? And she doesn't need drugs anymore, all right? Yeah, I know. Okay. So you don't need to protect her anymore. You don't need to, you know, she doesn't need to turn to you anymore, okay? But she needs you, all right? She needs the good parts of you. All the bad stuff that's in you right now, that's all from the demons, okay? That's all from the demons, the ones that want to do drugs and, the contr and control you, and all that stuff. You can be delivered of all of that right now, okay? Okay? How? How? By, through Jesus Christ. Okay? He wants you. He wants you to be free. Alright? He loves you. He, he'll never control you. Yeah. He just wants to help you. He wants you to be with Him. Alright? He is love. He's everything. He's amazing. He created everything. Okay. All right. He, yeah. Okay. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna deliver you, and he's gonna restore you back, back to Dana. Okay. And then, Word. and then you and her can fight these demons that have been attacking you. All right. But I'm not Chelsea anymore. Who are you? No, I said, but I won't be Chelsea anymore. Well, you'll be that same, that part of her character that's been missing. You see what I mean? Yes. You are, you are who you are. That's part of your character, all right? All and right. when you go back to the to Dana, you'll be back to where you're supposed to be. Okay? These okay. demons fragmented you because of all the control and stuff and the, and the overprotective nature of your parents, okay? And it caused that frag. It caused you to break off from who she really is. All right. She needs you. She needs you back to where you're supposed to be. Okay. Okay. All right. So you just have to receive the Lord. But first, I wanna. Um, I need your help. Okay. What um, do you want? I want to know. Baxter told me that there was three or four altars left in there. And they were all older than him, okay? So are there others there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me how many? happening I'm just trying to listen okay it's like like she went away or something I don't okay. know Chelsea come on back up come on up angels make sure that there's no demons in there trying to hinder her if they pulled her down or did anything break any chains off of her in Jesus name cut them cut their hands off of her legs off her arms off her whatever in the name of Jesus Christ separate them and cage them all come on up Chelsea What happened? <sighs> what happened, Chelsea? Come on up. Holy Spirit, bring her back up, please. Chelsea, come on up and talk to me. Tell me what's going on. I can't help you if you don't talk to me.
Holy Spirit, show Dana what's going on. Give her a vision, please. see anything. Hmm. What happened? I don't know. Hmm. She got scared around. I guess so. All right. Hmm. Angels of the Lord, find Chelsea wherever she's hiding. Go and find her. And bind up every demon that tries to attack her and scare her. Bind up all fear in Jesus' name. Bind up every spirit of control. Bind up Jezebel. Bind up sorcery. Bind up, bind up pharmakia. Bind up everything to do with drugs in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, marijuana spirits. Bind them in Jesus' name. Any other spirits, any other drugs that she used. Bind up the spirit behind cocaine in the name of Jesus Christ. Bind all these demons now in Jesus' mighty name. Every addiction spirit, bind them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, Chelsea, come on up and talk to me, please. Come on up. Come on up, Chelsea. Holy Spirit, let her know she's safe. Move on her, please. Come on up. I just heard she's battling demons. Yeah, angels battle those demons for her in Jesus' name. Battle those demons. Bind them all and cage them in the name of Jesus Christ. And none of their works prosper against her. Let her be safe. Surround her with your shields raised and your swords, flaming swords covered in the blood of Jesus right now. Surround her in Jesus' mighty name. And escort her out of there. Bring her back. Come on up, Chelsea. Come on up. Come on up and talk to me so I can help you. So I can help you fight these demons. You don't have to fight them anymore. The Lord wants to fight them. He's going to fight them for her. Come on up. keeps telling me, or something's telling me that I don't know the answer. You don't know the answer to what? About how many people are in there. Okay, altars. well that's fine. That's all you have to tell me. That's why she went away. Oh, okay. That's alright. That's she okay. Didn't know that I'm not going to be angry at you if you don't know, okay? Wow. It's okay. It's alright. If you don't know, then that's fine, okay? Are you there still now? Okay. All right, then let's. You can go with the Lord then, okay? Right now, I'll let you go and you can be free right now, all right? Okay. And I'll find out. The Lord will, re will reveal it to me how many others are left in there, okay? okay? Thank you for your help. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's all right. You didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Okay, now, um, I, I know that you've seen demons in there, all right? I'm going to ask the Lord to let you be able to see the demons and let you be able to see him so that you go to the right place, okay? I want you to go over these demons. Try to make themselves look like Jesus. But I'm going to ask the Lord to give you eyes to see the truth so that you go to the right place, okay? You go to the Lord, all right? Lord Jesus, I ask you to, to give um, Chelsea the spirit of discernment right now in the name of Jesus Christ so that she can see the demons, anything that tries to manipulate her or deceive her. Let her see the right way to you in Jesus' name. All right. Lord Jesus, come and deliver her, please. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This 
is so weird. I just thought uh, a girl running, jump into his arms like a little girl would. Like, <laughs> <boing. laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this is just so amazing to me. I almost, you know, people keep seeing these visions just like you're getting almost, you know, yeah, almost every time. Just, I... Yeah, but it's so like a little girl like, 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 you know, how a little kid gets scared and it runs and jumps into your arms. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay. So now there was already somebody else was talking too. Yeah. Somebody else told you that she was pregnant. Like yeah. yeah. Okay, so Lord, I ask you to bring up this one, please. Come on up and talk to me. Come on up, Pam. It's okay. Come on up and talk to me, please. Who are you? It's all right. Who are you? Holy Spirit, bring up, bring up the next one that you wanna wanna set free, please, in Jesus' name. Come on up. Come on up. Angels surround her and surround them and protect them in Jesus' name. It's okay. Come on up. Hold on, I'm hearing something. Yeah. I just heard something about Chelsea. Something about Chelsea? Mm-hmm. Chelsea is not my name. Chelsea's not your name? That's what I said. Okay. Can you speak louder, please, so we can really understand you? What's your name? Jesus said he delivered me from evil. I can hardly hear you now. What's that? Um, something said Jesus said he would deliver me from evil. Yeah. That's what I heard. Okay. Okay, who are you? Why do you why are you saying that? Because Dana said it. Okay. How how old are you? Thirty six. Okay. Is your name Dana or what's your name? It's no well. Okay. <sighs> okay. It's okay. All Why? Right. Okay. We're leaving. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where they come. We get the names I, from. But yeah. It's okay. Noel, are you the oldest one in there, Noel? I think so. Are there any other altars besides you in there, Noel? I can't even talk about it. Why is that? Because the demons won't let me. Oh, okay. Well, you tell me what they're doing in there and I'm going to help you, all right? They're not going to touch you again, okay? What demons? If you, if you say so. What demons? <laughs> Hatred. What? Hatred? Okay. Angels bind up hatred right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Sever him from his kingdom and cage him. Okay, what else? Anybody else attacking you or stopping you from talking? Noel, I need you to talk to me so that I can help you. If you don't talk, I can't help you. 
You gotta tell me what's going on, okay? So be bold, please. Mm. Are you there, Noel? Are you there? Mm. Angels of the Lord surround Noel right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Shields raised, swords raised right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Sever every demon that has been embedded into her right now from sever them from their kingdoms right now in the name of Jesus Christ rip them right out of the side of their kingdoms right now the gaping holes in the sides of their demons their demonic kingdoms right now and cage those things in Jesus mighty name right now and sever them apart from Noel in the name of Jesus Christ come on up Noel are you free from them now for so you can talk to me I don't like this. You don't like what? You want to know our names. Yeah. You don't trust me? It's okay. I don't blame you if you don't trust me. You've probably been hurt a lot in your life. But I do Pain. want to talk to you. What's that? Pain, painful. Yeah. What happened that was painful? Dana was in a car wreck. Okay. Three car wrecks. Are you fractured into three pieces? One from each car wreck? It's not that easy. It's not that easy? Why is what, it so what hard is, to hear? What's that? Why is it so hard to hear them? I'm just, I don't know. Come on. Angels, bind up every spirit of trauma right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bind up the spirits of death right now anything that tried to kill them in jesus name bind those spirits of death bind every spirit behind every accident every trauma spirit in the name of jesus christ right now and i lord i ask you to break the, every curse of death going back to adam and eve on both bloodlines off of my sister in jesus name oh showing me su the suicide too angels of, oh yeah yeah death and suicide they're trying to uh, kill you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Noel, come on up. Angels bind up suicide and death and the whole death kingdom right now. Anger, rage, bitterness right now. Bind them all. Bind up all the infirmities as well in the name of Jesus Christ. All the fragments of death and anger and hatred and pain and trauma in Jesus' name. All those fragments are embedded into these three. Bind them all and cage them in the name of Jesus Christ right now. And Lord, I ask you to restore the three together as one again in Jesus' name. The three parts that are fragmented of Noel, restore them back to one in Jesus' name. Okay, Noel? Can you tell me what's happening now? Are you back together? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Okay, now do you trust me? Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Lord. All right. Now, Lord, listen, the Lord Jesus sent me, all right? You know him? Yeah. Yeah. Do you trust him now? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Okay. I'm going to ask the Lord to give you eyes to see so you can see any false demons or whatever, anything that tries to look and make itself look like Jesus, all right? And then you, you can go to the Lord, okay? He's going to deliver you. Okay. All right. Okay, Lord Jesus, I ask you to give, give Noel the spirit of discernment right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ sorry, 
In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, give her the spirit of discernment, the discerning of spirits right now, so that she can see the enemy, and she can see you, and she can come to you in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, come and deliver her, please, in Jesus' name. And all that trauma, set her free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What did you see? I just see her standing there. She's not going anywhere yet. Okay. Can you tell me what's happening, Noel? Is there something stopping you? Yeah, it looks like there is. It looks like there's something. I don't know what it is. Okay. Noel, come on up and talk to us so we know. If you can tell me what's blocking you or what's stopping you, I can help you. There's so many of them. Yeah, there's many demons. Okay. They're standing in the way. Mm -hmm. Or what are they doing to you? They're, they're blocking the way. Yeah, okay. Well, watch this. Lord Jesus... I ask you to come down from um, from above and pick her right out of the crowd, right out of the midst of them, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It's like a long arm. <laughs> like a rope was pulling her out of a big crowd oh, wow. of blackness. Wow. Black things. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah, the three car wrecks. I forgot to tell you about that, too. Mm -hmm. So uh, now you can see, like, when we pray for stuff, mm -hmm. he answers, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Doesn't it? Right away, yes. You know, it's beautiful. Mm. Okay, so that should that should stir your faith. That should grow your faith. Absolutely. You well, my faith pray. grows all the time. When you're praying for people More and than... stuff, you know? Mm-hmm, absolutely. That's, that's why I'm trying to get cleared out of all these demons so I can hear God better and I can figure out what He wants me to do. Because I know it's going to be something ministering to people. I just don't know where or yeah. who with and mm -hmm. details, you know? And I want to be able to, you know, do ministry. Right, definitely. Well, definitely focus on women and children. Okay? Women and children? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, okay. that's the woman's role, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah, you're and, right. Says so, so, so. Yeah. But at the same time, you can, you can minister deliverance to anybody. Okay. Right? You just make sure you don't put yourself in authority over, over a man. Right. But you can you can put yourself in authority over any demon in anybody. So, that's yeah. what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. So that's fine. Doing deliverance okay. is no problem. Cool. Just, just don't get sucked into putting yourself in authority over a, a man because Jezebel will jump on. Right. Him. Yeah, it reminds me of my first marriage. Yeah. I know Jezebel's in there too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she manifested when I mentioned her name earlier. Yeah, I felt that. That mm -hmm. was weird. I was like, why am I smiling right now? I shouldn't be smiling. It yeah. just happened. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that spirit just laughs, you know. It's Is that what? The, it's one of the first manifestations of that spirit. It manifests laughing. Oh, it does? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Part of the reason is because it thinks it's safe. Because yeah. it's got... It's got a whole bunch of demons underneath its control, so it's got religious spirits, and it's got witchcraft, it's got lust, it's got, you know, all of these controlling demons, control spirits and stuff, and it'll mm -hmm. just sit back and laugh and throw up the other demons. Oh, I see. Right? So we've got a ways to go to get to her, right? Yeah, usually. Unless you go... <sighs> Unless the Lord decides to deliver her first, and then all of the whole thing comes out of order. can go. Well, that'd be great. Yeah, but... I, I don't experience that all the time. People have them and they have no clue. I, I 
I didn't know I had them. Yeah. You know, I thought maybe, but who knows? Okay, well, you, but you I never knew at, I had a boy named Baxter. And, yeah, you look at the events that happened to you that created, that caused these. They yeah. weren't really, really bad. You no. Know, but they were, they were enough, tra they were traumatic enough, you know? And so you, but, think, you think about how many people have had gone through the same stuff as you, or worse. Yeah. Or and way walking worse. around and they have no idea. There's so many people that have alters and they don't they don't know. Wow. That's true. I mean I thought I knew I was a mess, but I didn't know what it was. I, mean, I went to the psychiatrist's office for years and had I was on medication. And that's what started me being on all kinds of drugs in the first mm -hmm. place. That's right. Open the door to the all Oh it did. Boy, I was an addict. Well do you want to well, it's we got about fifteen minutes. I usually go about three hours. That's probably yeah. good for today, huh? Have we been on for three hours? Almost. 243. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Where have I been? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Well, That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome, brother. Thank you, Kelly. No problem. You're going to feel a lot of, a lot different. Yeah, I, feel, I bet you. I mean, I already do. Like, it was yeah. amazing how I could feel her pain and then it just went away. Yeah. Like, yeah. that experience. I mean, I felt that before. I didn't know it was an alter. That's just so amazing. Yeah, that you'll, you'll notice in other areas of your life now where those, where they would come up, you know. Yeah, and where they will, yeah, more. automatically come up. Yeah. yeah, there's probably a couple more by the by the sound of what happened. Right. So in the meantime, you, you know, this is good practice for you. You can, and you can help yourself and help them. Yeah. It's kind of weird that I tell people like, no psychologist or no psychiatrist would ever tell you to go home and talk to yourself, but. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, but that's all I, like I told you, I talk to myself all the time. Right, but in this yeah. case, that's what you're going to do. Talk to myself and right? see if I can get them to answer me. Yeah. Okay. See if you can get the other alters to come up and help them to the Lord, just the way I did. Okay, all okay? right. So okay. Follow the same steps that I did and, and help them find the Lord. And, and, you know, you can talk to them and comfort them. You know, yeah. have angels protect them, have the Holy Spirit comfort them, and okay. then you talk to them and lead them to the Lord. Okay. 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 That so is that my homework? Can, yeah, you got that's your homework. Okay, and I'm going to go on your website. Apparently, there's a whole gold mine of stuff on there that I need to look well, at. There's a so. few things on there, yeah. Yeah. Um, we should set up another appointment, though. Oh, we should, definitely. Yeah. Because we got to keep this, you know. Oh, we gotta absolutely. Get... I want to keep going. Yeah. And I'll keep you posted on anything if anything weird happens. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If you okay, need man. help with anything, just message me and I'll get to you as soon as I can. All right, man. Okay. God bless. Right. God bless. Bye-bye.